when we say quilt magic, we mean something that doesn't normally, that it, it, I guess it could be a coincidence, but it, it's not. In St. Louis, one of my favorite quilt stories on the tour was this woman, this mother came up to the truck. We, when we had a display, we had X amount out, and that's all we had, and we had the truck, and so we would give you a time with it. We'd pull it off the truck, lay it down, you could spend some time with it. She was looking for her son's panel. We could not find the name listed. We looked and looked, and then she described it, and we remembered it. It was a Scrabble board, it said his name on it. We remembered it, but we couldn't find it. She looked for about an hour, and she finally went off, started walking off, and as she walked off, four, panels came off those shelves, fell off the shelves. The only one that needed to be opened and refolded was her son's. Another woman was driving down, I think it's I-95, um, and she saw a sign on the side that said, quilt display at the um, um, Myrtle Beach Convention Center. She said, oh, okay, I, I, mean, I didn't know the quilt was gonna be here. She drove off. And, went to the display and there her son was. And she's like, I had no idea you all were coming. I just happened to be driving down the highway and he was there. Thank you so much for making sure that he was there. We have no idea how what happened. There was once this woman came, or a group of people came in and they wanted to see um, their son's panel. She was, I was supposed to have sewn it with another panel that she had sent in, and I failed to do that. Now we have a rule, and it's, there was a reason for this rule, but once, if I mess up, once it's edged and grommeted, we don't change it. And I apologized up and down, and I said, I, you know, I, I, I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry I can't do it. And she left in a huff, and the guy that was with her came back and said, you know, I wanted to tell you something. He hated that guy. He must have been telling me to do it. My first quilt magic story was my very first phone call at the Nage Project when we when the phones were just turned on that day. And I was stuck into the sound, the sound stage with all these blue packs full of quilt. The phone rang and on the other end of the line was a panel maker. He was frantic, looking for his panel. He didn't even know if his panel was received. Earlier in the day, I got tired of looking at the blue packs that was next to me and one of my colleagues said he would put up some quilt for me and went into, opened a blue pack, pulled out random block of quilt and he hung it up there for me. So there's some quilt hanging literally right here. The guy on the phone starts describing his, the quilt to him and I say, okay, yeah. And then I turn and look at the panel. I said, um, does your panel have a, some denim on it? He said, yeah, it has a denim uh, jacket on it and there's a white hat. And, and he started describing it more to me. I said, sir, I, am look, I think I'm looking at your panel. I once was in Portland and I, a panel had fallen off the wall and I um, folded it up and we replaced it with one. And as I'm walking with it, I was gonna go back to the truck and this woman comes in with tears in her eyes. She's going, oh my God, I've looked all over. They said it was here, but they said, you're the only one who know where it was. And she told me the son's name and I was holding it. I don't know what to tell you. It's called quilt magic. Those kinds of things happen all the time. Have people walk in to say they have a two hour layover at the airport. They walked into our offices and their panel happens to be hanging in the gallery. I don't know how that happens. That just happens. It happened so many times. It got, you know, we could go on and on. And yeah, it could be a coincidence, but I, I just don't think so. Maybe you're not supposed to know the story or why is that on there, why is, but you can feel it. You can feel whatever, if the laughter, the, you know, but you could, there's somebody there. It's not just a name. Um, it's their life or what you felt of them and when you know you you know I've said people that over mine they're just bawling their eyes out and they didn't know this person you know but that's what you get from them because you can you know you feel whatever their loss is and all and there's nothing that touches this and I don't think there ever will be you know I can't imagine <laughs>